antennas are necessary in order to be able to get our signal from the access point out into the air and vice versa. But in order for that antenna to be connected to the access point, there has to be some sort of connection. We've got to have some way for the electricity to work its way through up into that antenna. Seems easy enough. And in process, it really is. You get the antenna, you take it, and you're, you screw it in. Or maybe we attach the antenna, like if I was using a Yagi or a patch antenna, I'm going to attach the antenna to a cable and, with a certain connector associated with that, and then that cable goes to the access point with a connector at the access point. What we find is that because of government regulations, there is no universal standard associated with the connector that's going to go to our antenna and to our access point. Instead, we have a whole bunch of different standards. It's a very proprietary situation. You cannot mix and match. It just doesn't work. Uh, when we think about what type of connectors are going to be used, uh, we see things like this, SMA, uh, reverse polarity SMA, re SMA with reverse sex, um, not a regular TNC connector, but a reverse polarity TNC connector, N connectors, MC connectors, MMCX connectors. So we've got a variety of different connectors that are going to be used. And you do not need to memorize them all. You don't need to be too concerned about trying to keep all that up in your head, but just be aware you cannot mix and match them. When we think about connectors, especially in those elongated situations where there's a middle cable running between the antenna and the access point, uh, keep in mind that when we get a pigtail type of situation where I have uh, ends that I can attach uh, my own connector to them, so I've got an open-ended cable, I'm attaching the connector and, and fitting it in place, uh, that that can function and allows you a lot of different possibilities in terms of how that cable could be used. But remember cable loss. Anytime you deal with a, with a cable in between the antenna and the access point, you have to deal with the additional distance and the loss of decibels because of the cable itself. The cable causes that, and specifically included in that cable loss, though, we need to take account for the connectors. And what we find is if we have factory uh, installed connectors versus home installed connectors, right, doing it yourself, uh, there's a greater degree of loss with a home-based connector. So it's just something to watch out for.